Hi, this is Wendy Walker, and today is my birthday. Since I can't go out and celebrate, I made this video to share with you some moments from what has been one of the most impactful years of my life. Last year at this time, things were very different. I was getting ready to launch my new novel the night before, so I got on a plane and went to LA and met with my sister, Jennifer Walker, who has a PR firm. I had a glam session, we did a professional photo shoot, we filmed a video where I got to talk all about my journey to becoming a writer, and after that, I went on a national book tour where I spoke to readers at events, sat on panels, and attended writing festivals with these incredibly talented people. And the book even made a special appearance on the Today Show, thanks to author extraordinaire Jane Green. This excitement was only topped by the announcement of Ava Longoria that she planned to make the night before into a TV series. But not everything is about work. I also had some wonderful moments with friends and family, starting with the high school graduation of this guy, and then my 30th college reunion. I spent a lot of time with my girlfriends and even had my entire family come together at the 4th of July for our annual reunion. And then the summer came to a close and that handsome guy went off to college along with his handsome older brother who was starting his senior year, leaving just me and this handsome guy to fend for ourselves. When my youngest son and lone survivor got cast in play after play at his school, it gave me so much time to write. So I actually wrote a novel in the fall, took a break for the holidays, all the kids came home, we had a great time. And then I realized I had the entire winter and spring to write another novel. And I had this character that I just couldn't wait to get to and build a plot for. And so I dove in and got started, and then the entire world came to a screeching halt. Like everyone else, I had all of my kids return home. We were on lockdown. I went and bought food to last for a couple of weeks, disinfected everything. We tried to make the best of it, um, spending time together, playing board games. Um, taking up new hobbies even, and um, and finding new ways to um, stay in touch with the rest of our family. As the situation grew more serious, it became apparent that we were going to be living this way for many months. And I knew that I had to take back control of my life wherever I could. And for me, that meant writing this book. So I'd been getting up between four and 6 a.m riddled with anxiety about the future and this profound sadness about the losses being suffered around the world and i just stopped fighting it i decided i would come downstairs and make some coffee and just start writing and not stop until i had at least 10 pages and about four weeks later i had the novel finished and what ended up coming out in the characters and in the emotion in the book was the same sense of powerlessness that I think all of us have been experiencing. And that brought me to April, which is the month that I am launching the paperback edition of The Night Before. Like other authors with books coming out this spring and even in the summer, my entire book tour was canceled. So I've had to find some creative ways to reach my readers. I had a box of books sent to my house and I signed them here and then sent them out. And this week I'm going to make a video about the story behind the story of the night before. This has been a year of joyous moments and sobering moments and everything in between. It's been a year that has moved me and changed me and is a year that I will never forget. So thank you for being with me today as I celebrate 53 years.